Hey, and welcome to Homeschoolology. Today I'm going to be sharing my initial thoughts on the Real Science Odyssey level 1 and 2 for astronomy. Um, I, if you're new here, I, my name is Nikki. I'm a homeschooling mom of four. I've got a middle schooler and elementary age, um, and then pre-K and toddler here. Um, and so next year we're going to be using, or we're going to be studying astronomy as a family, and I'm going to be trying to use the Real Science Odyssey levels one with my younger kiddos and level two with my older daughter. So today's video, I'm just going to, I just printed it all off. I actually haven't even bound it yet. So um, I just am going to share like my initial thoughts of my initial going through and kind of what my plan is to use these in our homeschool for next year. So before we go any further, please head down and hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up, and that way you will know um, as you, you will be able to watch as we use this throughout the year, as I'll, because I will update you guys as to how it's going and what we're liking, and I'm going to have some planning videos coming out next month, and you'll see how I'm planning to piece these two together. But today's video is just, I'm just going to show you like what they look like printed out. Um, I did get the PDF versions um, and so I'm going to show you how like I decided to print it out and do it. Um, and then yeah. So let's start with level one. So level one kind of comes all together um, in one book. But I have chosen to pull out the teacher pages separate from the student pages. So my my middle daughter, who will be in third grade next year, um, will have this as like her workbook to use um, because her older sister will have a workbook. And so this is this is all the student pages um, that I've just pulled out separately. They make it kind of easy because every student page has this um, boxed in. Um, page so I was able to go through and, and just print off those pages um, for to make the student workbook and then I have my teacher workbook that is printed out with just the teachers instructions in it um, for me to have really the teachers instructions is mostly just the lab instructions um, all the like content or what what all they're going to learn is actually in the student book um, which I thought is really cool so um, that is the level one and I'm going to give you a down view of these in a second and kind of show you more but the level two comes as a teacher guide which I have here and so I just printed that out all as one it's just the the whole teacher guide there and then um, the student workbook comes in one big packet, but I'm going to tell you right now, my daughter would take one look at this and be like, mm -mm, nope, it's too much. She doesn't like to see everything in one big fat chunk like that. So what I've decided to do, and since I did the PDF, I have the ability to do this. What I've decided to do is print and just bind one unit at a time. The, the course is divided into three units, and so I've just taken one unit and split it out so that it's a smaller book for her to have, and then once she finishes this one, she can move on to the next one. Um, that helps with her, you know, sensory overload she doesn't like having a big fat book it also helps me with like organizing and keeping my you know I don't have to store this big fat book for her I can just store this small um, smaller one for her and then keep these the big other two in another section <clears throat> so it so I've done, chosen to do it one unit at a time and like I said there are three units the first one is universe and cosmology the second one is sorry will not come apart <laughs> is our solar system and then the third is homeward bound so those are the three units and then um so the the guide comes with or the bundle comes with the teacher and the um student guides for level two and then you can purchase an additional stargazers um notebook which i have done um and we are going to do this um together as well and since my middle daughter is kind of able to do the same thing I printed it off for her as well just so she when because we are going to do this 
notebook together and I figured she would want something someplace to write her down her information as well so I've only printed things for my middle daughter and my oldest daughter I haven't printed things for my little dog my little kiddos um, even though they are going to be doing it with us but I figured rather than print this whole thing over they can't read they're not going to be interested in these pages I'm just going to print them um, like there are some like uh, sorry I'm having trouble here <laughs> There are some just like workbook pages in here for like coloring and things. So I'm just going to print these things as they come up for them separately um, to just have their own little thing to color. They're not going to actually have a bound book. So what I'm going to do now is switch over to a down view and give you a little peek inside each of these separately. And then I'm going to show you how I'm planning to use the two of them together. So I'm going to switch over to the down view and I'll see you back here in a little bit. Okay, so this is Real Science Odyssey Astronomy Level 1, intended for grades 1 through 4. So, this is by Pandia Press, by the way, which I don't think I've said so far. Um, I am going to link to it down below for you guys. So, like I said, I've split mine up into, um, it comes as one, and I've split mine up into um, a student book and, and a teacher manual so this is inside the teacher manual here for me um, but it lays out what you're going to be covering uh, throughout the course of the year and then it gives you um, just some information and lots it includes the um, standards for those of you who need to know what standards you're going to be covering and then it includes a lab supply list and then like I said um, it does suggest a weekly schedule here for you it suggests other readings for you and then like I said it jumps into um, the individual labs and basically the rest of the book is just mostly lab instructions um, so um, what I like about this curriculum is that it is it has tons of labs here for you and that's what my kids want to do they want to do more labs and so um, so I'm excited that there's tons of labs and since we're doing levels one and two some of the labs are similar and some of them are very different so we're gonna have a plethora of labs to choose from are we gonna get to them all I don't know we shall see but um, I'm glad that they're all included and then so that is the teacher manual it just is the suggested layout and the lab materials um, and then the student manual now like I said it does come all as one book and I had to separate it out um, but it was pretty easy to do that uh, but so the student guide has the instructions for the lesson and then sheets for doing the activities and labs and that's what it is so this seems pretty straightforward pretty simple to use um, and I think we are going to like doing it then I'm going to show you, so this is the add-on bundle for the level two, which is the uh, Stargazer's Notebook, and it's a year-long thing, so you actually go for an entire, not, not a school year, but an entire calendar year. Um, the good thing is you can kind of, it doesn't say you have to start at any specific point, so you can pick this up whenever you want. This could honestly, in my opinion, even be like a standalone um thing that you do even if you're not using the whole curriculum this would still be something that is fun to do so it shows you what you're going to be doing each month and then inside this it has the instructions for what to do and then also the actual notebook itself where it's, they're going to be writing down what they're observing over the course of the year in the night sky so my sis my my sister <laughs> my daughter has asked for a telescope for her birthday so this is going to work out really nicely because we'll have a new telescope to use when we're looking at the night sky um, and I'm excited about this I think she's really going to enjoy it I think we're all going to really enjoy it um, my son who is going to be 
he'll be five. Um, he just actually turned five. But we're going to be doing kind of more like pre-K K level. Um, but I think he's going to, he's super into space too. And I think he's going to be really excited about the doing astronomy this year. So this is the Astronomy Real Science Odyssey by Pandia Press Astronomy Level 2. This is, is this does come as a separate teacher guide and student manual. So this is the teacher guide. It's similar to the way the other one was laid out, um, and, but not exactly. This one, um, first of all, is in color, which is super fun. Um, but it has the units broken down, um, and it doesn't really give you at the beginning it doesn't give you a breakdown of what you should do like the other book does what it does is at the beginning of each unit it has here um the suggested weekly schedule so it suggests either a two-day schedule a three-day schedule or a five-day schedule um, and so here is where you can kind of lay out and see how you're gonna do it I don't know exactly how we're doing it yet I haven't decided on that yet um, I have other videos coming up on that soon but I'm, it's nice that they give you options here it's not just this is how you do it one way you know it's this is how you could do it this way this is how you could do it that way this is how you could do it this way so I thought that was really helpful information. This one does give you more information than just like what the labs are inside the teacher manual. So um, it gives you lots of extracurricular activities and things, other ways to tie in other subjects. So this, they've really thought this out. They've really done, put in a lot of work to this. Um, and then it does have the lab. So this is, in my opinion, as a former, um, science teacher this is very well done um, I haven't started using it yet so I can't give you like my official official opinion but just glancing over it I am really excited to use this and I think it's going to be a really great program for us so that is the teacher's guide let me jump over so like I said in my little intro it it comes as one giant uh, book. My daughter's not going to be happy with that. It's not as easy to move around when it's that giant. Um, this is a lot of papers, so it's heavy. So what I've chosen to do is break it out into three separate pieces. So she'll have three separate books to go through. So I'm just going to give you a peek inside the first one. Um, so it does have a an I cannot think of the word and it's right in front of my face table of contents um, for each unit and then it has your instruction for the unit your text and then so it has your instruction and then it has all of your worksheets all in the same book so they're all in the same place these are for using your um, the first lab is a year-long lab, so if you didn't want to get the Stargazers um, notebook, you do have something similar here in the first um, lab of the the actual lesson. So, um, so you have both options there. Um, this, but this was like really inexpensive. I don't remember exactly how much it was, but it was like. <sighs> I, it was no more than like $25. I don't even think it was that much. So it's totally worth the little add-on there in my opinion. Um, so, but that's, everything is all in one notebook, which is why it's so huge. Um, but it's good that you only have one thing that you're looking for. Um, and yeah, so that's the inside of that. So how am I planning on using these two curriculum together? Okay, so this um, is level two over here. This is level one over here. So looking, one thing I don't love is that um, it didn't give me like an entire overview in this. You know, it just tells me what the units are. So it doesn't actually break it down like this one does. So it's gonna, it's kind of hard for me to see how these are gonna line up exactly. Um, but that's okay. So what, I, but once I started looking through them a little bit, I did notice that they semi line up. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. So what I'm planning to do is kind of, as I go into my planning weeks, which are coming up, 
um, in a few weeks here. I'm going to kind of go through and see where things line up and where things don't. I haven't had a chance to do that a ton yet. But where it lines up, we're going to do it together. Where it doesn't line up, we're going to do it separately. That might mean that, or or it might mean that these kiddos are taking a break while she's doing a little bit more in-depth research. Um, and then we'll pick these kiddos back up when we're ready to move on to the next subject. But in general, you can kind of see that you saw that the first one um, is laid as universe and cosmology, so that's kind of what it is over here. And then the second one is our solar system, and then you see it picks up as the solar system here. And then um, the last unit is the, you know, more about Earth, and that is um, not really covered in this one over here. So that might be where these kiddos lend. Uh, um, end off so but I think the beginning piece at least is going to line up decently enough for us to do this together as a family subject uh, and still have my daughter have more in-depth information and a little bit of independent work while still including the little ones and all the fun so that is how I plan on using these together in the coming year so I hope that look inside each of these was uh, helpful to you guys. I would love to know if you've used this curriculum before. How did you like it? If you haven't, did you see something that sparked your interest? Um, if you have any other questions, please head on down to the comments and let me know. Don't forget to ring that notification bell while you're down there and hit that subscribe button so you can see us implementing this over the course of the next year. Um, we should be starting to get back up again in mid-July. We are year-round homeschoolers. Things have been a little crazy and out of whack here lately so we have taken a bit of a summer break um, which is not typical for us but we are doing it um, and then we should be picking back up in mid-July so you'll be able to keep up with us um, if you want to see like a kind of more real-time action head on over to Instagram at homeschoolology and there I try to share as much as I can about our daily use of things and update you guys you know in real time over there so that is, I think, all I have for you guys today, so I will uh, talk to you guys again soon. Bye.